Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have a message. I am a conduit of a message to share to you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hit that subscribe button. Little Brian Bros Live uh, playing in the background here. Shout out to those guys. Doing a bunch of cool live stream videos right now. So check them out. Figured I'd have that playing back there. I love those guys. Can't wait to see them in the desert. Wearing all the desert clothing. Anyway, speaking of the desert, I'm gonna keep today's video short and to the point. One of the most hotly contested subjects around this whole thing is Bob Does Sports and Good Good, the Desert Open. Bob Does Sports, are they going? I'm gonna tell you everything I know, everything I've been told, and this will be a final call out, a final message, if you will, and at least it'll inform you guys, which is obviously what I'm here to do. So, okay, just a quick heads up, I did make it to day two. I posted a second daily vlog on my first channel. I'm intending to post daily vlogs there for sure while we're in Arizona next week. We leave in a couple days. We're gonna be down there with all the big creators. I'm gonna be posting all the vlogs there. I'm gonna have the behind the scenes video of the actual event, obviously on this channel and any more like produced content, but I'm posting daily vlogs on there. So if you wanna see more about the behind the scenes of my life, the travel, hanging out with other creators, training, golfing, all my content, all my golf content, is gonna be posted on there. So go check it out. I'll link it, first link in description. I forgot to do that yesterday, so today I'm definitely done. First link in description, check it out. Basically, a lot of people are wondering why Bondo Sports is not at the Good Good Desert Open, myself included. I've reached out to them, both for interviews and just in general and questions, and I unfortunately haven't heard anything back, so I don't have direct information from them, but obviously I've reached out to sources at Good Good. I've talked to even Matt Kendrick, CEO of Good Good, and heard from them kind of what's been going on, at least on their end. So I'm gonna share all that with you. So, Good Good essentially invited all top dogs by name. They went to Rick Shields, they went to Brian Rose, they went to Busta Jack, they went to Grant Micah, they went to them all. And they asked them directly, like, do you want, can you come compete? We'd love to have you, we're formally inviting you. Obviously there were a lot of people who just kind of saw the video and submitted and were like, hey, we'd like to be there. But all the top dogs Good Good went to Directly. So Good Good did directly invite Bob to Sports. I wasn't sure about that, so I didn't say that until I knew, but I know now. They had directly reached out and invited. So there was an invite sent. And to my knowledge, there was unknowing about the dates of certain events and if they, Bob to Sports is hosting an event on the 8th. And I think originally that was thought to maybe have conflicted with this event that's on the 7th, but it's not. And we know it's not now. So that's what makes it even more interesting is there is that open date range still theoretically. Again, they might have plans. We haven't heard anything from, I haven't heard anything from Bob the Sports as to whether or not they're going. But one interesting piece of info is I was messaging Kendrick about this last night. Cause again, Good Good posted the lineup yesterday and there were so many comments and so many DMs and just like, like why isn't, why aren't they going? Are they not invited? Why hasn't Good Good like, they're gonna be there. Like Bob the Sports is gonna be in the same like geographical area why aren't they going to be there and so i reached out to him and i was like listen i'm like so i guess they're not coming as of yet but if they get down there and their schedule allows it like would you still let them in even though the lineup has been made and kendrick told me this and said i could share it that they would they would in fact like if bob the sports came to them two days before and was like hey yeah like we're actually free like you know whatever we'd love to hop into this they will let them in they will make room for them which i mean great like kind of like good move good good because obviously bob does sports huge entity very entertaining brand and would definitely you know do well in the event i th uh, not maybe play wise but like entertainment wise and i think good good has done a really positive job of assembling a great cast and characters that like again if bob does sports doesn't want to come it's not the end of the world but i think there's just been so much misunderstanding as to why they're actually are or aren't coming and so from what i can tell you from what i've been told and on good goods end from the responses i've gotten from reaching out and doing my journalistic due diligence they have been invited there was thoughts that they couldn't come because of conflicting with an event and if they do for whatever reason decide they want to come at any point in the next like few days before the event Basically, I think like before probably like Monday, which is like probably the last day they can like change stuff. They're in. Like if they want to come, they are in. They could probably play as a threesome. I would guess that. I don't know. That is not confirmed, but I would guess they'd probably let them play as a threesome. You know, take the best shots out of the three, play as a three-man scramble. So I don't know. That's just, I, I've seen so much comments and questions about that that I wanted to address it. It's kind of like the final like 
putting this out there maybe even for bob to sports like maybe even like a couple of them are gonna watch this and be like oh okay like we didn't know it was that like chill and open-ended because i mean it really is like when you're one of the biggest entities in the space like you get a little more leeway than some of the other brands so i think you know if they end up wanting to come that's amazing and it's going to be a great event but also if they don't like it's fine like i'm not i think people probably will misconstrue this i'm sure but it's also the internet so people misconstrue everything as like trying to be like they need to come like putting pressure on them like I'm just trying to share the information with you guys, the audience, because you guys have all the questions and you guys are curious. And when I know something, as long as I'm allowed to say it, I'm going to say it to you guys because that's my whole shtick is like being the communicator, the information guy of this YouTube golf ecosystem. And so this is something that I found out recently that I heard and I wanted to share with you guys. So let me know your thoughts on it all in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on if you think they'll come or not. I think it could be a really cool last minute bang. But again, if not, if they have stuff like that's the other thing, right? Like they might just have like actual scheduling conflicts it's clearly not this event on the 8th but maybe they're doing like promo for it or something like that and they have to be you know committed they obviously like their their media company they they have you know brand responsibilities waste management is a huge event like there could be lots of deliverables and things they are actually just busy doing so again no shade at all on bds but i just wanted to share this information with you guys so you're aware and yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts on all in the comments below short sweet to the point i love you guys i'll see you in the next one probably from arizona take it easy